Hi, I'm Reba with AppliancePartsPros.com and I'm going to show you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breaker's off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water. I'm going to show you how to replace your water inlet valve assembly for your Gen Air refrigerator. It should be an easy repair. If you've already got the part, great. If not, click the link below or go to AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open the package, you'll get your new water inlet valve assembly. Your water inlet valve assembly allows tubes to connect the water line from your house to your refrigerator. If you're leaking water under your refrigerator or if it's not dispensing water properly, you may need to change this part. To get to the part, we'll need to go to the back of the refrigerator and remove the access panel. There are just four screws holding it on. I'll use a quarter inch nut driver. and the back access panel comes right off. The part is located on the right side of the refrigerator. First thing we'll have to do is remove both of these water lines. Put a towel down, and then using pliers to disconnect, we'll disconnect the second one here. Now, there are just two screws holding the part onto the refrigerator, located here and here. I'll use a quarter inch wrench to remove these two screws. Once the screws are removed, the part comes right out. Up here, we have our water inlet valve assembly. Down here, we have our water inlet valve kit. We'll be changing out the water inlet valve assembly. We'll disconnect the two pieces and then disconnect the wire harness in the back. The brown one goes on bottom and the red and black one goes on top. Pull that out. Now, we'll disconnect the water lines on top. Now, there's just one screw holding the piece on, and we can remove it with that quarter inch wrench. And now we can get the new part. Here's the old water inlet valve assembly next to the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. We'll take the cap off of this connector. Then there's a hook here and a place for our screw here. Now we'll place the hook inside of the shorter end of this frame. And then line up the hole for this screw and then tighten it down using the quarter inch wrench that we used earlier. Careful not to screw through your hand. Now we'll reconnect the wire harness. The brown one goes on the green side and the black and red one goes on the red side. The water lines have a different connector than the new part. This is a quick connect. So we'll cut the line here. I'll use a razor knife to cut this line. Be very careful next to your fingers. The other water line has the same connector. We'll cut it as well. So we'll line these two pieces up and then we'll put our larger water line on the left side and you just push it in, give it a tug, make sure it's secure. The smaller line goes in on the smaller side. Push it in, give it a tug, make sure it's secure. And then we'll reattach it to the refrigerator. Line those holes up using the quarter inch wrench to tighten it down. Make sure everything's tight. 
we'll reconnect the water line on the back side using our pliers to make sure it's nice and tight. The main water line on the bottom At this point, we're going to turn the water on and check for leaks before we put her back together. Now, we'll reattach the back access panel using the four screws and the quarter inch nut driver. Line up your holes here. Now that the access panel is back on, we can plug them in and get them running again. Thanks for being a part of another successful do-it-yourself repair. Share your repair with us on Facebook and look for all your repair needs at appliancepartspros.com.